All right, Oakland, we are back. And it's time for us to continue our Year 7 simulation with your Oakland Athletics. And we're going to start this video off in a fresh way. Perky Nips, baby. Theo Perky Nips is up to bat. Oh, we got two men on, runners on first and second. We're going up against the New York Yankees. Let's see what kind of power Perky Nips has here against right-handed pitching. Oh, there you go. Get down, sucker. Ooh. This is an RBI single. Wait a minute. The runner's rounding third. The relay. He scores, baby. Theo Perky nips his first pitch, and it's an RBI single. We finally, finally might be uh, witnessing the breakout season of Perky nips with that 97 potential. And if anyone wants to know, it's on freaking all-star direction. I didn't change shit for this video. Sliders are all the same, so don't give me that nonsense. What I was doing was trying to convince you guys to keep Perky Nips because in the last video, I was reading your comments. Holy crap. Everyone wants Theo gone, man. Trade that 97 potential player right now, Johnny. Bring in somebody who's ready to go. He's going to be a bust. Jeez, you guys just have no patience. This guy even... Ah, I mean, I, I understand... I understand the opinion that if you trade him away right now, he's going to have trend, uh, tons of trade value. And we already ha have a great team, right? But, I mean, we got so many prospects. I, I, I'm trying to hold on to the dream that Perky Nips can turn into that 97 overall player. Because he's got that, that sweet power potential. And if he turns into 97 overall, you know the power ratings are going to be 99 apiece. So, come on, baby. So, there's a ground out there at the second at-bat. That's going to happen. I'll show you his stats quickly. 51 for uh, contact versus righties. A 78 for power versus righties. And vision's only 62. So I'm staying off that power swing. I don't know if I'll be able to actually get my bat on the ball for that. But X swing, aim and left, baby. Oh, that was it. I was late on it. But he still manages to get an RBI single. That was the pitch to hit, man. Who's their pitcher? New York Yankees, righty. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try to take a guess. I don't know who it is. But Perky Nips, his second single of the game. Doing a good job here. Two for three. Two singles. An RBI and a run. His batting average is 415 this year. So we just got to keep on playing him like this. And hopefully this guy grows. All right. So it's the seventh inning. Might be the last at bat for Perky Nips. Let's see. You know what? Let's see if we get lucky here. All right. Gameplay options. Let's go to zone. All right, and uh, let's try to slow it down. I think because uh, this is not road to the show, I only get two pitches here. So let's see. Is that a ball? Yeah, that's going to be a ball. Yeah, I only get two pitches. Come on, throw me a strike. I want to put a power swing into this. Just throw me a strike. Throw me a strike. Throw me a strike. Throw me a strike. Oh, baby. Perky nips. Perky nips, ladies and gentlemen. Perky nips! Oh! <laughs> he did it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. He crushed that sucker. Theo Perky nips. His tits ain't saggy just yet, boys. They're still perky. Home run to left field. Woohoo! So two singles and a two-run bomb. Was there a runner on? Oh, no, you know, that was a solo bomb. So I got uh, two RBIs, two singles, and a homer. His third home run of the season, 450 feet. So that's why I, I want to keep this guy, you know? I know he's already 25 years of age. He's not going to have a long, extended career like a Mike Trout where he's a stud in his early 20s, right? Stays there till he's like in his late 30s, hopefully for uh, for Angel fans. But um, you know, if, if this guy hits his prime, even if it's his late 20s, his power versus righties is already up there at 78. One or two good seasons, you'll see him jump up there like Sunno. I know it. I have all the faith in the world, so he's not going anywhere, boys. So that's the way we start off this video. Let's get back to simulating. We already got the draft done. We didn't really pick up anybody in the last in the, in the last video. And this one, I would like to simulate at least up to the trade deadline if we're in. A tough spot. I think we'll stop it right there so you guys can chime in. If we look like a playoff team, we're going to take it to the end of year number seven. So let's get back to the clubhouse. Okay, so take a look at Theo Perky Nips, 25 years of age. I'll admit, I would have uh, I would have liked to see him hit like 85 overall by the time he was 25. So he's still growing, right? But uh, that's 78 overall for power, and I'm hoping that he can just have an outstanding year like Judah Guerrero did. Judah Guerrero spent an entire year on our bench, I think it was like two seasons ago or three seasons ago, and all of a sudden he jumped up. Remember that one season you saw like plus 10s and stuff? So I'm hoping that we see that out of Perky Nips. Does he still have his, hang on, you know what? 
Let me check out one thing. Perky Nips. Edit player. I won't touch anything. Don't worry. Uh, attributes. Yeah, he still has his 97 potential. And yeah, he's a pull hitter for sure. So I, I'm, I'm holding on to him, boys. I want to see him grow. So here we go. We have a record of 33 and 23. If you take a look at the top left corner, we just finished the first two months of baseball. We're in a good spot. Are we at the top of our division? We are at the top of our division, but Mike Trout and the Texas Rangers and that starting pitcher, Tayan or whatever his name is, read your comments. I know I butcher every frig uh, friggin' baseball name there is. Deal with it. They're only four games back, so if we drop the ball, they can be, or you can be sure that they're going to catch us, and the LA Angels, of course, are rivals. So uh, still a good chunk of the season to go. I want to finish this month, and I want to finish this month up to the 27th. If we're in a great spot you know with like a five game lead in our division i might just take it if uh, we're not in the divisional league we might end it right there just to see what you guys think about potential trades okay but from now to the end of the season is the time that you really see your rookies grow if they are going to get it the first two months not so much but uh, let's see perkiness come on baby so let's keep up the simulation sunny gray remember he's having a cy young type season let's see if he can keep it up so fernandez versus mats we take that we're beating the yankees good uh bacara or becerra whatever his name is versus matt moore we take that beautiful all right so we're on a four game winning streak right now series up against the uh, kansas city royals we got ken shockley he he takes it nine to one. Joey Grubbs, three thirty six ERA. He's uh, three and two so far. Can he win this game? Yes, he does. Emery Bloom gets in there with the W. Ken Shockley. Yeah, I should be checking the pitchers. Look at this. The winning streak by the Oakland Athletics. Sonny Gray. Look at the season that he's having. Ten and two. Oh right, he was in the game that we uh, played. Right, it was the Perky Nips game. Sonny Gray was our starting pitcher, and he had a shutout in that game. So another shutout for Sonny Gray. He's having a great season. Let's see what he can do here up against uh, Kansas City. Oh, you another win for Sonny Gray. He's 11 and 2 with an ERA of 206. Beautiful. Jose Fernandez. Look at this winning streak. We can't stop Gustavo Pacera. 4 to 1, two weeks in a row without well, I, I guess yeah. Lost uh the last day of uh what's it called? of May against the Arizona Diamondbacks. I bought that one loss in two weeks. This is beautiful. We're five and a half games up on the Texas Rangers. Hell yeah. All right. Ken Shockley versus Jose D. Leon, and we lose that. Emery Bloom gets in there, and he loses it for us. Joey Grubbs, he gets back with a W. Nice job. Sonny Gray, you know what? I want to just keep an eye on Sonny Gray right now. He's having a great season. Come on, keep it up. There you go. Another W for Sonny Gray. So he's got an ERA of 217 and a record of 12-2 and two before the All-Star game. <laughs> All right, so I want to I want to get a good chunk of simulating done here. So let's go like a four games at a time. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're we're in a good spot. Fernandez, Basara, Shockley, and Grubbs. Let's see what happens. Win, loss, loss, win. All right, I'll take that. Any blown saves or anything? Emery Bloom, Shockley, Basara, and Chris Carrera. All right, so everyone who's losing games or winning games, it's our long relief for starting pitchers for this month. We haven't had any blown saves by our uh, closers, our mid-relief, or our setup man. I know I've probably just jinxed us, but that's good to see because our bullpen was always a weakness for us in the past. All right, Sonny Gray up against the Seattle Mariners. What can he do? Another win for Sonny Gray. <laughs> this keeps his ERA down there, and he's now 13-2. Beautiful. All right, so let's go four more games, shall we? That's a W. Today is the end of the Texas League first half. Would you like to stop simulating? And No, I would not. Loss, loss, loss. All right, so there's three in a row right there. 46 and 29 is good. Come on, just finish us strong before the All-Star game. Get us in there. We got a big series here against the Texas Rangers. We got a six-game lead. Let's extend that. Let's win at least two. We got Sonny Gray going up against Jameson. How, how is it? Tyen? Tyen? <laughs> Whatever. Let's see. Sonny Gray, what can you do? Sonny Gray with another W. Keeps that ERA low, and he's 14 and 2 before the All-Star game. Oh, my God. Sonny Gray, what are you doing this year? Jose Fernandez, Gustavo Bacara. Yeah, you know what? I want to keep an eye on this series. It's an important series series against the Rangers. Jose Fernandez against the team that drafted him. Uh, Emery Bloom gets the W. Good job, Emery Bloom. So we took two of three from Texas at least. And Gustavo Bacara versus Brandon Finnegan. Uh, we lose that one five to one. So we end up taking two of three. I'll take that any day. All right. So Ken Shockley, let's see the record or the standings again. So we're six and a half games up on the LA Angels, seven games up on the Texas Rangers. So this is what I mean. I, I feel like our team is actually simulating well this year. I don't know if we'll have to make any trades whatsoever. Um, oh, there's really nothing. 
I mean, maybe I could upgrade our outfield substitution. You know what? We'll get there when we get there. Let's keep the good times rolling, shall we? Ken Shockley and Joey Grubbs against the Mets. We win both of them. I mean, we can't be stopped this year. This is great. This is great. All right, so Sonny Gray, keep this going, my man. 14-2. and two. Come on, Sonny Gray. Ah, he loses it 9-2, which means ZRA. It was like 217. It jumped up to 247. Ah, come on. It was a shitty pitcher in there as well. Couldn't be perfect. Uh, Jose Fernandez. Let's see what you got. He gets a W for us. Gustavo Bacara. That's a loss. The Marners are interested in offering you a trade. Now, I'm not... Uh I'm not really leaning to making any trades right now, but I will do my due diligence and see what they're sending us. So we got ourselves a stud power hitter against lefties right here. Francis Coronado, power versus lefties up there at 98. He's got 17 dingers on the year. See, here's the thing. If I could make this trade, and he's also a great fielder for third base. If I could make this trade go through, you could even put this guy as the designated hitter against lefties, right? Because we know Schwarber's great against righties. Not so much against lefties. But I don't want to, I mean, Sebastian Mora is a starting pitcher for us. He's got, he's one of the better, um, yeah, he's got the A potential. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't trading away Sebastian Mora for that guy. Francis Ch Chodinato. Get the hell out of here. No, thank you. Uh, all right, Ken Shockley, Grubbs. Yeah, I want to... Uh, fast forward through these two games. Stop at Sunny Gray. All right, so a few lo losses, three game losing streak, two games. No, we're good. 52 and 33, almost 20 games above 500. Come on, boys. Let's get 20 games above 500 before the All Star game. We got a big four game set against the LA Angels right here. Sunny Gray, come on, against Detroit. What do you got for me? Uh, Sunny Gray, before the All Star game, loses two in a row. Damn it, he was 14 and two with an ERA of 217. And then he loses two. Shit. Probably going to end the season now with like 14 and 9 or something. Watch. All right. So last series, before the All-Star game, we have the LA Angels. Let's see. Game one, we lose it 4 to 3. Emery Bloom. Game two, oh, we lose it 7 to 9. Not good. All right. So see what I mean? They're getting back on track. They're only five games back of us right now. Come on. Ken Shockley, we lose it 5 to 4. Ugh. Before the All-Star game, we have a week like this. A seven-game week where we win one game, we lose six. Jesus, man, that's that's finishing strong. On the last game against the Angels, we take that. All right, so we lose three, we win one. Today is the MLB Home Run Derby. Would you like to participate? I guess we got nobody there. I'm going to skip that sucker. Uh, and the All-Star Game? Nah, I don't need to play the All-Star Game. The NL has defeated the AL in the 2023 MLB All-Star Game. The Brewers are interested in offering you a trade. Sure, I'll take a look at it. Dominic Leggett. 25 years of age, seat potential 74 overall for Bart Yoder and Armando Armas. You know what? I'm just I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do that. All, all the players on my team are playing in double A AA and triple A. Unless I know I'm getting a stud back on a season where we're not performing, I'm not gonna be uh, making any trades that I don't want to. I'll be the one to make the trades, to offer the trades, not the computer. So we're at the all-star game. Our record is 53 and 37. Let's uh, take a look around the league and see what's going on right now. So manage the roster. Elijah Wood had a strong month, good. Uh, Hideki Takahashi posted an ERA of 210, good. Chad Villa raked, good. David Arias tore it up, good. So we got a good a bunch of good players uh, coming through for us here uh johnny bridges though was not one of them he was hit hard in june and david roach will have to bounce back after a tough month okay so let's go through here sunny gray yeah you're gonna see sunny gray growing with this kind of season so he's still going up good numbers for sunny gray jose fernandez is 91 overall now so yeah we need that home runs over nines to get up there i'd love it to see his hits over nines jump up as well but remember he's only got that b potential which is i think 89 because he did have an a potential at one point and now he's 91 overall so that's what you're getting with jose fernandez right there and his era is a little bit high you're gonna, yeah, he's gonna have so many strikeouts, but he's also gonna have a lot, a higher ERA because of the home runs over nines and the hits over nines. But the walks over nines is nice, and he's 25 years of age, so that's a good pitcher right there. Ken Shockley didn't really see too much growth out of him. His B could be 80 overall. Remember, Gustavo Bacara, we're seeing some growth out of him. Good. Uh, what about the other guys like Joey Grubbs? This guy Esteban Rodriguez, he's down there in AAA. What about Joey Grubbs? Yeah, yeah, Joey Grubbs is growing. Good. Uh, Dan Kachir, Emery Bloom, and Chris Carrera. These guys are the long relief pitchers. Yeah, he's growing good, and Chris Carrera, he's growing. So all of our starting pitching is growing in the uh, the majors this year. Seems like they're all performing. Tim Schultz, mid-relief, he's dropping off a little bit. His hits over nine still dropping. ERA, five. I don't know what it is with Timmy Schultz, man. 88 overall, but he just does not pitch well. 18 innings. Oh, you know what? That's what it is. He was the setup guy. Is he still the setup guy this year? Hang on a second. I forget. Coker, not Tim Schultz is in there. I wonder, he's just not getting any chances to pitch. 
I wonder, wonder why that is. Hang on a sec. Uh, where was I? Shit, manage roster. Yes. All right. So Tim Schultz only has 18 innings pitched at this point. So that could be a reason why his ERA is so high. 18 innings pitched and two blown saves already. All right. So Tim Schultz, Michael Coker, he's got, uh, you know what? Never mind. 18 innings pitched. Coker's only got 24 innings pitched. I guess our starting pitching is doing really good this year. They're going deeper into games. That's That might be what it is. Going deeper into games so that they're not needed. Sid Brennan, he's got 26 innings pitched. He's a lefty, so that makes sense. Yeah, he's got some good ERA. So those are our three mid-relief pitchers. Closing pitchers, Michael Alford's a 94 overall. Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah, this guy, I know he's going to have good numbers. Yep, all right. So this guy is clearly the closer for us. We thought it was going to be, uh, what's his name, the other guy? Shit, I'm forgetting names here. Tim Schultz, but Michael Alford, look, I mean, his hits over nines is up at 92. That's like the best thing you can have. And a combined walks over nine at 76 so a 92 with a 76 he doesn't give out home runs either and he can strike people out this guy is filthy his clutch is not the greatest if he gets uh runners on but uh, it doesn't matter for him 29 innings pitch 27 saves era 186 a whip below one how many blown saves uh, no blown saves this year as our closer that's really helping us out consider all the years where we missed the playoffs and all the blown saves it's not happening this year which is great so michael alford's pitching like a, uh, a stud sheldon palmer 34 innings pitched all right the setup guy era is a little bit high and huh? what are you gonna do how many blown saves does this guy have uh no blown saves okay and elijah wood down there in triple a he's going to be able to be a relief pitcher for us in the future so that's good as well catchers walter chang he's turned 30 uh his numbers are going up which is good his batting numbers against lefties, good. His discipline's going up, which means even though he's only hitting 217, yeah, his on-base percentage up there at 326. So Walter Chang's more of a on-base catcher. Like, he can play good defensively. He's not going to be the greatest hitter, but he can get on base, all right? So that's who Walter Chang is. He's not going to grow too much more being uh, 30 years of age. A potential? I mean, maybe, but it doesn't seem like I can, get, I can get his hitting numbers up there. Everything else grows. Jim Raymond, all right? So this guy on the bench, he's growing. Kevin Floyd, another uh, catcher. He's down there in AAA. He doesn't seem like he's growing too much. First baseman, now here comes the big one for Perky Nips. Miguel Sano, uh, he's 93 overall. You're seeing some growth. You're seeing some takeaways. That makes sense. He's hitting 277 this year, 20 home runs, 51 RBI, on base percentage of 376. Very nice. John Alexander, this guy down there in AAA, he's having a great season. This guy could be a, you know what, this guy could be the designated hitter against lefties for uh, next season. Perky Nips doesn't uh, work out. And Perky Nips, I want to see more growth out of that. I want to see more. Ah, it's just not getting there. We're halfway through the season. If I only see like another one or two for each one of those, we're not going to have that great year. He's got 65 at-bats. He's hitting 354, on-base percentage of 400, four home runs, 13 RBI. I mean, it's, it's more at-bats. He's going to have more at-bats than he had in his entire career this season. And he's hitting 354. I hope those numbers stay up there. I said it before, they grow They grow more towards the end of the season. So I'm, I'm keeping them there, boys. I'm not changing a damn thing. Geraldo Silva, this guy, what's he hitting? He, uh, he's, he hitting he's hitting 312, good. So that second baseman's doing good for us. Patrick Mesa, good. So he's growing at third. Good thing we don't have to worry about him. Dennis Holcomb, all right. Javier Baez, might be dropping off a little bit. Philip Nakajima, yeah, he doesn't seem to be growing at all. We can't get him going. Eddie Rosario down there in AAA, good. His contact numbers are going up. We might have a shortstop here that we can rely on in the future. Uh, left fielders, uh, Kyle Schwarber. Let's see what kind of numbers he's putting up. 325 batting average, 407 on-base percentage, 19 home runs, 71 RBI. Yeah, Sunno, between Sunno and Schwarber, we got like 40 home runs there. Uh, Jude Aguero dropping off a little bit. What's he hitting? He's only hitting 254, but an on-base of 341, so that's fine. Ricky Dutremble, let's see, uh, a little bit of growth. Hitting 283, he's getting plenty of at-bats, seven home runs. Okay, uh, George Grimsley, Alfred Deaton, and right fielders Phil Germano. Uh, staying about the same, getting a little bit of power. And David Cato growing. Cato's potential's going up. Yeah, Cato's turning into a great player, as we knew he would. We just need that fielding to get up there. We just need the fielding to get up to like 65 plus. Arm accuracy reaction, 65 plus. And I can trust him as a center fielder, even. All right, so that is that taken care of. 
So we know who's growing. We know who's doing what. I don't know if Perky Nips is going to end up having that big season that I want him to, boys. He might be stuck forever as just a bench player for us. I screwed up. I screwed up his growth. So let's continue here, shall we? Let's go past all these. Sunny Gray starting it up. Good. Let's see if he can continue his Cy Young season up against the Minnesota Twins. Freaking Sunny. So let's go, my man. No excuses. Today is the AAA All-Star game. No, I don't want to worry about that. Blah, blah, blah. Sunny Gray loses again, man. Ah! He was 14 and 2, and his ERA was 217. Three losses in a row, and all of a sudden, 14 and 5, 270 Happy ERA. All right, so Stevie results. Sanders, come on, boys. We got to start winning games. We're only five games ahead of the LA Angels and eight games ahead of the Texas Rangers. Second half of the season, Great no playing Sunday around. Gustavo Bacara, Ugh, we lose two to the freaking Minnesota Twins. Unbelievable. All right, so here we go. The Texas Rangers, this is going to be rough. Ken Shockley, come on, baby. Oh, my God. We're starting to lose games now, boys. Joey Grubbs, 5 to 2 victory. Three, very nice sunny gray there you go sunny gray gets back on track and we bury the texas rangers even further we take two of three from them good Hello, all right baseball. so the boston Man, red sox jose fernandez we get that w gustavo becerra we get that w ken shockley we lose that the mariners are interested in offering you a trade let's take a look at this michael chu Ooh, they want to offer us a shortstop 27 years of age, A potential. He's got that great fielding, and they want our starting pitcher, Sebastian Mora, back. Nope, nope, not doing it. Not doing it, not making that trade. So let's finish these last two series, Boston and Baltimore, and see where we stand. Come on, 3-1 to one against Boston, 3-1 to one against Boston. Good, 3-1 to one against Boston. Sonny Gray, get us off the right start, or get us off to the right start against uh, Baltimore. We can take two, and then we can make that decision. Sonny Gray, ah, oh, Sonny Gray, 1-4, or 1-3 in his last four. Not good. Jose Fernandez, ah, of course. And Gustavo Becerra, of course. We lose in a sweep to the friggin' Baltimore Orioles, who are 49 and friggin' 54. They were 46 and 54 before they faced us. All right, so we got two more months to go. Let's take a look at the standings. We're six games ahead. Ha, acquisitions, trades. Let me just take a look at our uh, lineup quickly. All right, so Guerrero's hitting 258. Germano's hitting 314. Cato's hitting 304. Miguel Sano at number four is not moving. He's hitting 250, but he can stay there. Uh, Schwarber's hitting 314. Baez hitting 228. Geraldo Silva hitting 312. I could even move up Geraldo Silva. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Geraldo Silva, you can move up here. Silva after uh, the. What's it called? Baez can be after Silva, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Silva. And Silva. Yeah, Silva's already there. Baez is after him there against right. He's okay. So Silva's in there. Baez, Mesa. Let's see. Patrick Mesa. He's only hitting 241. He's probably better against lefty. So I'm going to leave him down there. And then Walter Chang. So everyone is hitting well. I mean, I could replace a guy like Javier Baez. But we got him defensively. How's he looking defensively this year? Any errors? Let me see. Two errors. A fielding percentage of 995. War 1.8. Nah, he's going to stay on this team. He's not uh, the reason we're losing. Perky Nips down to 69. Oh, no. He's still growing up a little bit. Uh, he's hitting 338. Nakajima's hitting 199. You know what? If we could get a replacement for Nakajima that could take care of the infield and also hit like a good pinch hitter against lefties, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Ricky Dutremble, an upgrade for Ricky Dutremble, even though we're seeing him get some nice growth contact versus lefties he's got no speed though for the outfield oh that's jim raymond what am i talking about where's Rick, ricky do tremble there you go there's ricky do tremble okay all right so before we go ahead let's take a look at the trading block if there's somebody that looks good i'll take a look at it what's the replacement the outfield replacement and the infield replacement to cover shortstop like eric gonzalez let's see yeah like he could play but is he much he's not that much better of a hitter than philip nakajima so there's no pr there's no uh, reason to make that trade so let me try to find another oh no no way too much like another shortstop first hang on here we go michael chu yeah he was the other guy but uh, he would be a good hitter against lefties but you know what nakajima is better defensively no 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 i want someone who's at least taking care of the defensive responsibilities uh, any shortstops? Here we go. Bob Laker, 81 overall. Here we go. Yeah, you know what? This guy would be the hitting shortstop that you could use. Left-handed. Something that we need, but he doesn't have the defensive responsibilities taken care of. And that's what we need. On the bench is our defense. So, nope, I'm not doing that. Uh, shortstop, 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 short. Oh, was there a shortstop there? Uh, Gavin Ciccini? Oh, man, A potential. No way I'm getting him. Yeah, that one would work if I could make that trade go through. How many more years? 1.3. Let me see if I can make this trade go through. I highly doubt it. Uh, Nakajima and Baez. No, no, that won't work. I'm not going to do it. Travis Shaw? No. All right, so now that uh, we can't get the shortstop, let's take a look 
look at potential outfielders. Rafael Hernandez, no. Uh, Corey Vargas, 67 overall. I'll take a look at the overall before I go in. Dwayne Waldron, let's see. Uh, would be a better fielder. Doesn't have the arm. Left-handed would be a better batter uh, than Ricky Dutremble. But no, Dutremble could end up growing for us. I'm not going to make that trade. If I'm going to make the trade, it's got to be somebody much better. Like Mike Matta, this guy. But uh, how much am I going to have to pay him? Nah, 89 overall. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford a player like that. Let's move on. Uh, Tyler Goodell, 84 overall. Yeah, that would work for us. Good against lefties, which is what you need. He's making $9.1 million for another four years. No, thank you. Can't take that on. Uh, Abraham Almonte. Uh, yeah, that's that's not a bad one. Switch hitter as well. That's a better one than Ricky Dutremble because he can take care of his own defensively. He's got better speed. He's got contact versus righties and lefties in the 70s. Discipline up there at 60. Abraham Almonte hitting 273 on the year. On base percentage of 321. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Edward Otto. Let me just go through the rest of them and make, make sure. Almonte seems like the best one so far. Manny Casilla. Nope. Don't need power like that. Hunter Renfro. Uh, yeah, that would work, but A potential, 90 overall, 14.7 million per season, no thank you. Uh, Dustin Richardson, uh, he's got the hitting, doesn't have the fielding, don't want that. Uh, Ramil Tapia, he's got the fielding, batter against, uh, or a left-handed batter, good against righties, which is not what we need, discipline down there at 41, no, I like the other one. Keith Hobson, oh, uh, no, his defensive stats aren't good enough, and Bronson Denson, <laughs> no, that ain't good enough either. And Stevie Burns, I think this is the last one. That's not bad, but you know what? I like the uh, Abraham Almonte guy. Was that his name? Hang on a second here. I'll find him. Abraham Almonte. Yep. Let me take a look. You know what? One year left. One year left, 3.1 million. He's growing this year, so it's not like he's dropping off. I like this trade, all right? So straight up, Abraham Almonte for Ricky Dutremble. All right, so here's Ricky Dutremble, boys. Take a look at his stats. It sucks to give up a player like this. He's got that B potential, but um, it's no doubt that Almonte is better defensively. He's, he's faster, and he's a better batter for this year. So you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm serious about this season. Let's try for it, all right? So Ricky Dutremble, yeah, they're not going to let that go through. Let me give you a, yeah, let me give you another left fielder. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can give him one more. Jim Cortez. Cortez got some power, but it never ended up uh, growing for us. So you know what? There you go. I'll throw Jim Cortez in there as well. So Ricky Dutremble and Jim Cortez in exchange for Abraham Almonte to make our team that much better. And we're trading them to the uh, Texas Rangers. I didn't think about that. Man, Ricky Dutremble going to come back to bite us in the ass, boys. Here it is. Offered to the Rangers. Thank you very much. All right. So that is that taken care of. Let me take a look at uh, our lineups now. All right. And th there is Abraham Almonte. So we have another switch hitter who can go in there against lefties, against righties. He's got some speed. Uh, only 68, so I guess it's a pinch runner for some situations. But he's more of a defensive outfielder, all right? Got him for that fielding, arm strength, arm accuracy, reaction, and the contact versus righties and lefties. All right, so he might help us win a few more games. We also have another switch hitter in Philip Nakajima. Jim Raymond is our right-handed batter, pinch hitter for lefties. And Perky Nips is our right-handed batter, but a pinch hitter for righties with that power versus righties up there at 79. All right, so that is that. I'm not going to make any more trades. Our pitching rotation looks like that. I like the way it looks. We're going to trust our young players. And our mid-relief setup and uh, closers are all, what, 80, 81, 88, 91, 87, 94. Yeah, it's good. It's good. We don't need to stop it. All right, so let us finish off this season in this video here, boys. We are the first-ranked team in the major still. Our power is first. Our pitching is fourth. Our contact is fourth. Our defense is 16th. And there's no reason why we should not make the playoffs, all right? Six games ahead of the LA Angels. Let's go. We got Shockley, Grubbs, and uh, Sonny Gray up against the Nats. I want to I wanna, I wanna track the Sonny Gray games. He's, what, 1-3 and three in his last four? That's got to be turned around. So Shockley, uh, we lose it 2-1. to one. The Rockhounds, double-A, do not have a valid... Okay, so uh, auto-fix lineups. There you go. That'll. That's probably just from the left fielders that I traded away. It'll just be replaced. We're fine. Joey Grubbs up against Eddie Villa. There we go. We win it. And Sonny Gray. Come on, Sonny. We got to get this on track come on Sonny there you go Sonny Gray I need to start relying on Sonny Gray to get me that automatic W again man no prolonged freaking losing streaks let's go all right the Seattle Mariners Jose Fernandez Ooh, Mike Matta has been traded to the Chicago White Sox from the Minnesota Twins he's a good player isn't he hitting 317 18 home oh man yeah he's 91 overall and they gave up three players for him. man Edward Dempsey oh you know what I just realized 
uh, talking about the Chicago White Sox, you guys probably want to see what Ryan Healy and uh, and uh, Sean Manet are up to, right? So hang on a second here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, team, yeah. All right, Ricky Owens, all these guys growing after a m another month. I'll take a look at... Uh, Perky nips at the end of this month. All right, we got one more month to go. Yeah, but let's take a look quickly at uh, what's his name, Sean Manet. He was on Chicago, wasn't he? Uh, Chicago White Sox. There you go. So let's see, Sean Manet, 96 overall, still 22.1 million. They signed him for nine years. He's going to be pitching till he's 40. Let's see what kind of stats he has. See what I mean? I mean, he's three and nine with an ERA of 4.45. Why the hell am I paying 22 million for that? No, thank you. So I think that was the right uh, idea to cut Shamanea this year, boys. What do you think about that? And Ryan Healy. What team was Ryan Healy on? Uh, hang on a sec. Transactions, player search, uh, third baseman. Let me see. Ryan Healy, 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 Healy. There he is. Uh, Ryan Healy. He went to the Detroit Tigers. All right. So his power versus lefties is going up this year. His fielding is going up. He's hitting 250 with 16 home runs. Already 16 home runs. Not bad. He's got a lot more at-bats to go this season, and the best season for us was only 22 home runs, so he's having a good offensive year. On-base percentage is shit, though, below 300, and his fielding, uh, he's had five errors this year, so far from that perfect season that he had. So you know what? With Patrick Mesa up there at 89 overall now, I think cutting Ryan Healy and Sean Manea was the right choice for this team. All right, so let's go. We just won that first game against Seattle. Gustavo Pacera, there you go. And Ken Shockley, yeah, baby. All right, so five in a row right now. We have an eight-game lead over the LA Angels and we got a two game set coming up against them right there Joey Grubbs yes Sonny Gray here it is Sonny Gray and he gets another W oh no it was Chris Carrera man okay so it must have gone to extras that game uh, Jose Fernandez there it is so a week full of W's we got eight in a row Gustavo Becerra nine in a row beautiful I mean nine in a row <laughs> you are speaking my language right now Oakland we're nine games ahead of the LA Angels and a two game set come on let's keep this winning streak up Ken Shockley yes all right, and Joey Grubbs, yes! All right, we're burying these teams. I don't want to say we're, we've already made the playoffs, but 11-game lead, and the, why would we start playing worse right now, you know? 70 and 45, my goodness, almost 30 games above 500. I mean, this happened uh, last year, and we had to settle for the wild card, so it's good to know that the other teams in our division are not playing that well. Sonny Gray, 16 and 6, what can he do? And another win for Sonny Gray, 17 and 6, ERA of 250. I'm feeling a Cy Young year for Sonny gray jose fernandez there's a w Woo -hoo -hoo! one how many is that eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen in a row what's going on here in oakland gustavo becerra Woo! 14 in a row come on oakland i want that 20 ken shockley <laughs> 15 in a row. This is unbelievable. The Oakland Athletics are playing out of their minds right now. But it's the Toronto Blue Jays. Here we go. Joey Grubbs. Holy shit. 16 in a row. Sonny Gray. Come on, my man. Don't lose this. Sonny Gray. Ah, well, it's going to happen. I mean, geez. That might be the longest uh, legitimate winning streak I've ever had just from simulating. One, eight, eight. 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 in a row. Unbelievable. This team is playing great. All right, so let's just not go on a prolonged losing streak now. Jose Fernandez up against Marcus Stroman. Good. So we answer right back with a W. The New York Yankees. Gustavo Bacara. We win it. Ken Shockley. We win it. Joey Grubbs. We win it. Oh, my God. How many is that in the last... Uh, you know what? Just keep going here. Sonny Gray, 17 and 7. ERA, keep it below 3, Sonny. Come on, baby. Yes, he keeps it below 3. Gets another win, 18 and 7. Jose Fernandez. All right, there's our second loss of the month, and we're at uh, August 22nd. Gustavo Bacara. There you go. So, no losing streaks. Oh, yeah. 14 game lead over the LA Angels. We're in the playoffs. We won our division. There, there's no way in hell we're going to all of a sudden turn this around. We're a great team this year. I told you, boys, that trade for that outfielder might have just put us over the top. Ken Shockley, there we go. Joey Grubbs, there we go. We lost that one. Sonny Gray, come on, baby. Last game against Boston. Come on, Sonny. There you go. Did he get the win? Chris Carrera did. So the long relief of really helping us out. Jose Fernandez, there you go. Gustavo Bacara, there you go. And Ken Shockley, the last game of this month where we've only lost three games. Ken Shockley, damn it. <laughs> we lost four games in August, boys. Oh, my God. What's the? I don't even want to count it up, but like... What and four? You know, like, is it 20 and four or 20, like, probably like 20 and four or something like that. That's incredible, man. What a month that is. That might have just, 
Yeah, I mean, we're 16 games ahead of the LA Angels right now. That that put us into the playoffs. Hang on one second here, boys. Ah, sorry about that. Just getting congested. I'm getting too excited with all these Ws. So the last month of the year seven regular season, the Oakland Athletics are looking to win another divisional title. Can they bring it home? Joey Grubbs. Oh, there we go. We got that win against the LA Angels, burying them even further. Sonny Gray. Ah, come on now, Sonny Gray. 18 and 8. Will he get to 20? Will he keep that ERA below 3? I don't know. Jose Fernandez, 11-1, beautiful. Texas now. Texas is 21 games back. They're 66-71. and 71. Even Mike Trout can't help out that team. Gustavo Becerra, there you go, 4-0 W. Congratulations, the Sounds AAA have finished the season at 89-53 and 53 and won their division. You will be taking on the Sky Sox in the divisional series, so our AAA squad playing great. And uh, uh, the, the Rockhounds have finished the season 26-44. and 44. Unfortunately, this was not good enough to make the postseason. All right, so the double a squad did not make it did any double a yes so some double a players came up to this squad hang on a second here let me try to find these guys gloom no none of those guys sid brennan no we have somebody who was in double a rico nunez there it is no get back down to double a i don't need you up here all right so we only have 25 players under our uh on our roster which is good I don't need the computer screwing up my simulation towards the end of the season. No, thank you. All right, so let's continue here. Ken Shockley, we lose against the Texas Rangers. And Joey Grubbs, who's having a great season. Joey Grubbs, I should keep an eye on his stats as well. Sonny Gray, come on, Sonny. You only have a few more starts to go. You got to get to 20, and you got to keep that ERA below 3. Sonny Gray, oh, man. Nope, way below, way above 3 now, and he's 18-9. and nine. Man, remember when he was 14 and 2? 18 and 9. See, he went 2 and 7 since, or 4 and 7 since that point. Ah, I just couldn't put that great season together. Jose Fernandez, ooh, we lose that one. Gustavo Bacara, there we go, we win that one. Uh, AAA have been eliminated from the playoffs by the Sky Sox. All right, so we got eliminated there. All right, so let me just take that off. Manage roster, yeah, okay, so. Uh, let me go through this. I don't want to bore you. I'm just going to take all the players who are in the AAA squad who got moved up to our MLB squad back down to AAA. Hang on. All right. So I got all the uh, AAA players back down where they belong. It's not going to affect our simulation at all. We still have a 19 game lead over the LA Angels. I don't even know if there's 19 games left. We have one. You know what? Let me take a look at this. Have we won our division just yet? Well, it'll tell us. Now, we haven't won our division just yet, so the, mathematically, they could still come back, but uh, no, it's going to be like one or two more series. After this after this week, and we finish against Texas, it'll be over. So, Ken Shockley, we lose it 4-1. to one. Joey Grubbs, we win it 11-1. What is Joey Grubbs doing this year? 14-3 with an ERA of 269. Holy crap, give him the Cy Young. Sonny Gray, 18-9. There you go, Sonny Gray. Oh, Chris Carrera got the W. Never mind. Jose Fernandez, there you go. So, we won 3-4 of four against Seattle. And Texas, let's see, Texas. Ooh, 69 and 77 ha <laughs> ha you whooped our ass last year and now you don't even make the playoffs this year gustavo basara or Bacara, whatever ken shockley and joey grubbs let's see joey grubbs oh joey grubbs 15 and 3 era of 258 joey grubbs for cy young boys all right that should be it we should have clinched the uh the division now for sure it's the athletics. Yep, there it is. Clinch the division. So we didn't even have to finish the year, boys. The Angels, are they even in a wild card spot right now? Let me see. American League wild card is going right now to the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. Kansas City Royals are tied with the Angels. So unlike previous years, our division wasn't the strongest. So we were able to just destroy them, just leech wins off them. And just, I mean, 95 and 55. I think our best season was 100 wins, right? We could get more than that. Come on, baby. Let's get 101. Go Dalmatians on this shit. Sonny Gray. Come on, baby. Oh, Sonny Gray. He ruined the season towards the end of it. 18 and 10. Just could not do a damn thing. ERA back up to 349. Whatever. Jose Fernandez. He got his season back under control. There's a loss. Now, since we clinched, they're all going to play like shit. Come on, guys. I want to I wanna play the wild card team. Because we were the best team in the AL. Is that how it works? I want to play the wild card team. Come on. Gustavo Basara. Oh, Jesus. Here come the losses now. Ken Shockley up against Omar Lorenz. Oh, my God. Four in a row. Where's Who's the other team? Hang on a second. Let me take a look at this. Jeez. We're just we're letting the season get away from us here. All right. So, uh, American League Central, 84. Okay. So, technically, we're in that spot right now. So, we would face off against the wild card team. While the Indians and the Rays would face each other. I want to face the wild card team because then their ace doesn't start to like game three or something like that, right? Because they got to play in the wild card game. So come on, baby. Keep this going. I think we're okay, but just come on, win some freaking games. 
I don't know why I'm complaining. We're in the playoffs. Joey Grubbs. There you go. We can rely on Joey Grubbs to get a W. I'm 16 and 3. He's got one more start. Can he get to 17 and 3? Sonny Gray. Oh my God. Sonny Gray. 18 and 11. 353 ERA. Just take his first half when he was 14 and 2. Since then, he's gone, what, 2 and uh, or 4 and 9? Oh my God. His ERA is probably at like 5 in the second half. Jose Fernandez, there you go. Gustavo Passara, there you go. Ken Shockley, there you go. So win-loss, win-loss. Not really uh, playing great into the playoffs here. We got three games left. Can we go 101? Couldn't even get to 101 wins. Damn it. Joey Grubbs, baby. Last start of the season. Ah, he loses a 3-1. to one. Sonny Gray, he loses a 3-1. to one. All right, well, whatever. Couldn't get to 100, uh, 100 wins here, boys. And Jose Fernandez, <laughs> we lose a cheese. What a horrible way to end the season. Congratulations. The Athletics have finished the season at 98-64 and 64 and won their division. You'll be taking on the winner of the wild card playoff game. Good. So we're going to be facing off against the wild card winner. Good, good, good. So let's stop it right there. We made the playoffs in year number seven. Uh, if you take a look, it's not going to show. It only shows the last five years. So 2017 does not not show it. How many years here? Uh, two. Hang on a second. Seven, six, five, four, three, seventeen, and sixteen. I guess it doesn't show. You start in sixteen. MLB the show seventeen. Huh. Lost in the AL. Oh, that's what it is. Right. I'm thinking 2022 is this year. We're in 2023. It hasn't shown this year. Right. So last year we lost in the AL. Uh, wild card game with a record of 96 and 66. So this year it was close. Couldn't get that extra W though. To, uh, year number five, we were 82 and 80, missed the playoffs. Year number four, when we won the World Series, we finished with a record of 162. So very similar season. Uh, year number three, with a record of 81 and 81. And year number two, we lost in the ALCS to the Cleveland Indians with a record of 93 and 69. All right, man, we almost had the best season. We just completely crumbled at the end there. What the hell? We were doing good, doing good. Then four in a row, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, and then lose three in a row. Yeah, that's rough. Especially when you look at this month that we had when we only lost four. That month was unbelievable. So now is the moment of, uh, or the big moment. We got to see how much Theo Perky Nibs grew. So first off, awards. Uh, AL Rookie of the Year goes to Joey Grubb. See what I mean? This is why we started these, uh, these pitchers. It's why we got rid of Jesse Hahn and Sean Manea, because I knew these guys were ready to go. There's sometimes you can just look at a pitcher and know that they're ready to go. Delivery man of the year, Michael Alford, beautiful. So the most valuable player goes to Hunter Dozier from the Toronto Blue Jays. Cy Young goes to Jose D. Leon. A record of what? How does that guy win the freaking Cy Young? 13-6 and six with an ERA of 313? Joey Grubb should have won the freaking Cy Young over him. Strikeouts 20, 222. Maybe that's what it was, his strikeout totals. My God. All right, so Joey Grubbs, he led the league in ERA. He had the best ERA. He didn't win. He, and he had the best winning percentage. And Sonny Gray had the most wins. What the hell? How did he not win that? Hang on. I want to take a look at uh, wins here, all right? So where is Joey Grubbs was second for the most wins in the AL. Second to Sonny Gray. He was tied with Codero. Where, where was the guy who won the freaking Cy Young all the way down here? What was his name again? De Leon. Let's see, 222 strikeouts, 93 walks, a war of 3.7, ERA whip. What was uh, the strikeout totals for Sonny Gray? Where's strikeouts? Yeah, you know what? That's probably what it was. Yeah, Joey Grubbs only had like 125 strikeouts. This guy's strikeout number it must be like 99. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it is. See, his K is over nine innings. Jose D. Leon, it's up there at 99. So he's getting like 222 strikeouts a year. There's nobody else who even had over 200 strikeouts. So they're basing his Cy Young win over strikeouts. Damn, man, that's rough. Saves, uh, let's see. Alfred, 46. Did he have any blown saves in here? 93 overall, beautiful. He had no losses on the year. Did he have a single blown save? One blown save. That's more like it. That's a closer you can rely on. Yeah, Tim Schultz, I'm sorry, man, but we found our real closer in Michael Alfred. What a beast. All right, so... Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. Let's take a look at uh, who ended up growing for us. Can I do it from the statistics screen? If I go here and like Schwarber, yes, I can do it here. Okay, good. So starting pitchers, Sonny Gray, 18 and 2, Joey Grubb, 16 and 4, Emery Bloom, 14 and 7, Jose Fernandez, 12 and 6, Ken Shockley, 11 and 14, Bacara, 10 and 12, and Chris Carrera, 9 and 4. So you can see we got some great pitching, some great starting pitching and great relief pitching from our two, like Chris Carrera. And uh, what was it? It was Emery Bloom. These guys were the long relief pitchers. Look what they did for us. They had great seasons. They pitched a lot of innings for us, and they came through. And Carrera, 
Yeah, yep, 138 innings pitched. Yeah, that's uh, it's good seasons for those guys. ERA, Sonny Gray, 352. Joey Grubbs, 262. Innings pitched, he only had like 22 less innings pitched, and his ERA is way lower, right? That's a great year. All right, uh, whip looks like that. All right, win percentage, blown saves, all that. Let's see the war. Let's see the most valuable. Jose Fernandez had the best uh, wins against replacement. Nice, 4.4. Here's Jose Fernandez's stats, boys. Yep, that's you know what he you, you might see a Cy Young season from him because look at the strikeout totals 191 in the future, he's got the strong K's as well and that's how the game judges Cy Young strikeouts then hell yeah Jose Fernandez relief pitchers look like this Tim Schultz uh, Sid Brennan and Michael Coker let's see yeah Tim Schultz didn't have the greatest ERA only 21 innings pitched though for Tim Schultz I'm telling you I think the computer simulated to put uh, Emery Bloom and Chris Carrera in there a lot Tim Schultz is basically useless 21 innings pitched over an entire season I mean, Sheldon Palmer and Alford set up and closer. That makes more sense. Palmer had six Ws. How many blown saves did Palmer have? Only one. Yeah, we had a great setup and uh, and uh, closer one-two punch. Man, Tim Schultz might be expendable for next year, boys. Seems like it goes with Coker and Brennan. And then Tim Schultz is just the uh, the last guy that they throw in there. Tim Schultz. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out what we want to do with him. Uh, and now here we go. Here's the interesting one, all right? So hang on a second. Let me go positional players, all right? So, you know, let me just go first baseman first, all right? Perky nips. Let's see what kind of season he had. So, 116 at-bats, 31 hits, 5 home runs, 15 RBI, batting average of 267, on-base percentage. Oh, no, no, here we go. On-base percentage of 352, batting average of 251. My bad. I was reading, uh, oh, no, that's Miguel. S what the fuck am I doing? Perky nips. Here we go. Hang on a second, boys. Sorry about that. Yeah, he's not hitting 251 with an on base percentage of 352. 267 uh, batting average with an on base of 306. There you go. It's getting mixed up. And did he grow at all? All right. So we got some growth there towards the end. Plus threes and plus fours. Now, still not the greatest, though. He still hasn't been able to have that Judah Guerrero type season. So he's still only 70 overall, really, even with all those, uh, even with all those jumps. So the good news is that his power versus righties is, I, I don't know if that's elite. 80 is not elite, but it's certainly way above average. Um, but his contact did not grow. Plus three, plus three. Even another year, you're talking about it. It's not going to get to 60. We got to get like a season where he can actually play. I got to get him as the DH role for an entire year. That might hurt him though. Damn it, man. I was hoping that he would grow, boys, but he did not. <laughs> Shit. At least we made the playoffs with him on the bench. It didn't hurt us, right? So let's see the most home runs. Miguel Sano with 38. That's the kind of season he had. He actually dropped off in a lot of categories. Yeah, he did. His contact really dropped off. 251, that's what it was. Last year he hit 286. This year only 251. On base percentage was still up there. And he still had his power numbers, which was good. Schwarber was a great DH pickup for us. I might just let him go next year, though, and bring back uh, Perky Nips as the DH versus righties. Even though he had 35 home runs and 116 RBIs. Hit 293 with an on base percentage of 371. That guy was a great DH for us. Phil Germano looks like that. His power numbers versus righties went up. 26 home runs. David Cato. 24 home runs. Woo, look at Cato's stats going up there. Yeah, he's turning into a stud as David Cato. 24 home runs on base. Batting average looks like that. Uh, Baez, Patrick Mesa. Let me take a look at Patrick Mesa. So his contact versus lefties went down, but that's okay because the righties went up. It starts to even out a little bit more. He's a great fielding third baseman. I can trust this guy as a third baseman. In fact, let me take a look at his uh, uh, errors. Only three errors on the season. Yeah, I mean, Patrick Mesa is ready to go as a legitimate third baseman. Jude Aguero looks like that. Uh, 266. Would have liked to see that a little bit higher, but as a leadoff man, as long as his on-base percentage is above 350, I'm fine with it. Uh, Walter Chang looks like that. His numbers went up. Good. His numbers went up this year. Yep, yeah, that's good to see. Uh, and see what I mean? His numbers still going up. Even though he's A potential, his numbers still going up even though he's 30. So Perky Nip still has, you know, a good five years of growth easily. So don't uh, don't be stop, don't be saying he's too old to grow. He's not not in this game. This ain't NHL. And Geraldo Silva looks like that. All right, batting average, the best players. Oh, Abraham Almonte. Look at this guy did for us. Woo! He ended up growing for us. That's gonna be a great player to have on the bench for the playoffs. Pinch hitter that I may need. The Judah Guerrero of year number four, right? Or year number seven for this year, I guess. Uh, all the batting averages, the on base percentages. Abraham Almonte. I might have to think about starting that guy. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh... 
And last but not least, let's take a look at the war. Who was the most valuable players for us? Phil Germano, Judah Aguero, Abraham. Abraham Almonte was that kind of war. My God. Kyle Schwarber, Miguel Sonno, David Cato. All right. And who was the least? Theo Perkinips. <laughs> All right, say what you want about him. Say what you want. Perky Nips, we started off the video. We had a home run, two singles with him. That was his year seven total. Still did not see that growth year that we're looking for, but at least we're not seeing him drop off. And his power versus lefties is catching up to his power versus righties. Ah, man, DH for next year. So, boys, let me know what you think. We're not going to go any further. I don't know who the team in the wild card is going to be. We'll figure that, that out in the next video. What do you guys think about the lineup? All right, I'll show you guys the lineup quickly. What do you guys think about that? It worked out for the season. Um, any plan, strategies, if things don't go according to plan, let me know. And I will see you guys when we take on the winner of the wild card game in the year 7 ALCS. See you guys there. Hey guys, Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. You can also swing by our website, which has forums and a live chat. That, along with Twitter, allows us to play with our subscribers in our GTA lobbies or the 24-7 open Minecraft server, where you can build with others or play in one of the many, many games across Superbia. Our Patreon account helps us support our website and the Minecraft server, and we also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of s***! I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my God! Pitching change, Fernandez. Get your ass in there! Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam! Oh yeah! Make me miss the playoffs with a first-ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.